Today's video is about how to fix low GPU usage while gaming on any PC setup. If your GPU usage is below 80% during gameplay, you're leaving a lot of performance on the table. After applying these fixes, I nearly doubled my FPS, and I'll show you the results at the end of this video. So stay tuned, and please consider subscribing and dropping a like. That's all I ask in return. All right, first we need to disable power throttling, which limits your CPU and GPU performance to save energy, and that directly causes low GPU usage in games. Press Windows plus R, type gpedit.msc, and press Enter. Now go to Computer Configuration, then Administrative Templates, then System and Open Power Management. Inside this folder, you'll find Power Throttling Settings. Double-click on Turn Off Power Throttling. Select Enabled, click Apply, and then OK. This ensures Windows won't limit your CPU or GPU power anymore, which helps your system run at full speed while gaming. Next, we need to make sure your GPU, CPU and chipset drivers are up to date because outdated drivers are one of the main causes of unstable GPU usage. Right click on the start menu, open device manager and expand display adapters. Right click your GPU, whether it's Nvidia, AMD or Intel and select update driver. Search automatically for drivers. If it says your drivers are up to date, don't stop there. I recommend downloading Driver Booster from the link is in the description and it will fix probably 50% of your problem. Once installed, open it, click scan and it will show you all the outdated drivers on your PC. Then simply click update now and it will automatically install the latest versions. This step alone can fix low GPU usage and random FPS drops in many games. Next, we'll use a tool called Park Control. You can get it from my website. The link is in the description and this is the most important tool you need if you are serious about boosting your GPU performance. Once installed, open it and select your high performance power plan from the list. Now make sure core parking and frequency scaling are both disabled for AC and DC modes. This keeps all your CPU cores active instead of parking them, which means your games can use full CPU power and get better GPU utilization. Click apply and OK. This tool runs automatically in the background every time you start your PC, keeping your performance consistent. Next, we are going to use MSI Afterburner, and this tool will remove the temperature limits and safely overclock your GPU with my settings. All right, so download and install MSI Afterburner. Link in the description. Open Afterburner and go to the main window. First, push the power limit slider up to maximum and push the temperature limit slider to the highest safe value your card supports. Do not change core voltage unless you know what you're doing. For memory clock, increase by small steps of plus 20 MHz increments, apply, then test stability in-game. If everything is stable, you can increment further. Click apply to save settings and check the option to start with Windows if you want these settings active on boot. Keep afterburner running so the GPU is allowed to run at higher power and thermal limits, which increases sustained performance. Next, let's boost your GPU priority directly through the Windows registry. Search for Registry Editor in Windows Search, right-click it and run as administrator. Copy the registry path from the video description and paste it in the address bar, then press Enter. Here, open System Profile Arrow Tasks Arrow Games. Double click on GPU priority and set the value to 8, then double click on priority and set the value to 6. This tells Windows to always prioritize your GPU and gaming tasks over background processes, giving you higher and more stable GPU usage. And that's it. By following all these steps, you'll unlock the full power of your GPU and fix low GPU usage issues permanently. You'll notice smoother gameplay, higher FPS, and much better responsiveness in all your games. If this guide helped you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below what GPU you're using, and I'll help you fine-tune your settings even more. See you in the next video.